and I, I will be your armor. Do whatever it takes, I'll make the mistakes. Yo, that song has been stuck in my head for a minute. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Amari. We are watching episode four of Has Been Hotel. Now, this show has been getting crazy. It's been getting good. Last episode, we left off. Uh, they were doing some stress exercises, you know, Charlie and them uh, at Has Been Hotel. And uh, the most important thing that happened that episode was we found out who killed the angel, beheaded him, and it was Camilla. But she did it for a good cause. Her children, of course. You know, you got to protect the children. The kids, but they're just kids. Like, dang. Like, like, what is angels doing? Now that I think about it, what is angels doing walking around hell right now? Don't they still have like six months until the next execution? Like, y'all can't let us breathe? Damn. Anyways, you know, we found out she's the one that killed the angel to protect her kids. I didn't realize that until I edited the video and realized she was talking about her kids. She had to do what she had to do. But hopefully... That doesn't get loose because, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because Adam, Adam already knows about that. So it's like, oh, no, actually, they don't know that Camilla is the one that killed her. They just know, or him or her, the angel, they just know that some one, one of the demons obviously killed, you know, the angel. But if that breaks out, they finna go crazy. They finna be like, okay, we're going to war, then let's go. They're going to be ready because they already like, <laughs> they already doing crazy shit down there anyway. So it's like, they really finna be, you know, all right, let's go. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens between, you know, the characters, you know, Alistair and uh, Vox, you know, their whole rivalry that they got going on. So, man, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one for sure. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and waste no more time and get into episode four, Masquerade. Angel dust. Yeah, and what's it to you? Got him locked down in his basement. Where your boss stashes his vault. <laughs> hey, he's freaky ass like that, though. Do you think I tell you anything? Fine. Well, I guess. I'll just have to fuck the information. Whoa. <laughs> okay, what? Worst. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't throw. That's a good time to him. You threatening him with a... And they're just watching him? Oh, this sex is... He, sex, tape. sex tape? Oh, ew. Why is he showing them this? Angel, what the fuck? What? You said it was show and tell day. I'm sure... <laughs> yeah, physical objects, bro. Not no damn sex tape. What makes you think you have any right to insult my work to my fucking face? You really gonna sit there and act like these scripts ain't hot garbage? <laughs> I, I thought I bought it. I thought it was real. Okay, bro. He Did he literally eat his ass? I know everything about you and these motherfuckers at this point. That one. That one is an insecure buffoon. Who's Sir Pinchos. Princess. He's still on his, like, sneaky shit, isn't he? This problem set for own. I mean, to be fair, bro, she got a lot going on. Everything because she hates herself. Uh, and nifty? Yeah. <laughs> She's not wrong about that you one. Don't even want to know what her deal is. The, I do want to know, bro. She's been mysterious this whole show. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, who is she, bro? <laughs> I see right through you and all this bullshit and how fake you are. <laughs> oh, me? Fake? Guess that's why I'm an actor, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> all that time. Boss calling? No, I, I'm not. But uh, yeah. Damn. It's like Val needs me. Yep. Bro, the relationship that they got going on is so weird. Don't, you can't leave yet. We haven't finished our exercises for the day. How many more exercises are they gonna do? I mean, they already had a trust exercise. I know you want to fix everything, but unless you can fix my boss, there's nothing you can do. Ugh, True. He got bigger problems, you know, to worry about. Well, I think you need to worry about, you know, signing more people to Hasman Hotel. Well, not signing, but, you know, getting more people involved. Maybe you can, I don't know, command a little more authority. Yeah, she too, she too nice. That's her thing. See? It's not me. You gotta have that, like, love and respect balance. Or not love and respect, respect and fear balance. That's why Vaggie's there, though. Convince him to let Angel spend more time in the hotel. Sure. Whatever gets you there, babe. Oh, dead. oh my gosh, bro. I, I don't want to see more of this, man. <laughs> expect me to memorize this whole script just improv it do you think anyone watches for the dialogue so, bro this is so do to me? what even are those Johnny? things uh, my name's rocky no one gets you. <laughs> <laughs> the princess of hell angel and i go where i please i mean, I mean she is now where's your boss oh no 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 you are going nowhere near there angel what is that i mean he's already there he said that like he wasn't right behind him 
Please, please, just wait. Wait until I'm done working and we will talk about this, I promise. But first, you've got to go. Welcome to my humble sex dungeon. What sex can dungeon. For such a... Uh. You don't want to roll, do you? Because I a roll? Star. What is he? What would he have Charlie do if she did volunteer? Fuck no! <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to aggressively kindly speak with you about Angel. Later, of course. Well then, make yourself comfortable, your majesty. Bro, I'm going in that room, I'm closing the doors, and I'm putting some headphones in. I'm not finna watch or listen to this. You don't hurt me with those big guns of yours. Don't move, you spicy little lip. Got the boom mic all up in the shot. Bro, Charlie, you supposed to stay in the room. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we too loud? I was just telling him about the Hasman Hotel. <laughs> me one bit damn now he's gonna take all the blame maybe i can pitch some scenarios that are more oh, now she's messing up the whole setup yo how did it just catch on fire that fast surely they got a fire extinguisher somewhere over here right i mean y'all in hell y'all be alright bro <laughs> yo she's so clumsy how did she just go from how did she ruin shit that fast can I see you in your dressing room for a moment? Oh, uh, yeah, he's finna face the wrath of Valentine now. Valentine, Valentine? Really think you can have Lucifer's little bitch fight your battles for you? Uh, now, please. See, that's a, that's a sad part. He didn't even ask for all that either. To fuck with me? All, he, all she literally had to do was just stay in the room. You think she can get you out of work? No! No, that's not what... Oh, isn't it because he signed a con... I can't remember what happened in the last... What was it, the second episode? He signed like a contract or something? I own you, or have you forgotten yep. that? No. Damn. When I say come, you say... Yes, Valentino. Valentino. Fucking 20 guys before lunch, you say... Yes, Valentino. How long does the contract last? Is it just forever? Look, Val, she just gets involved in everything. I'll... I'll tell her to leave. Just don't hurt her. I have killed uh, bitches for less than this attitude you're giving me. Damn, I feel bad for Angel though. Why Angel though? You don't have any other any other actors to do all this for you? What makes you think you can treat mm. him like that? Charlie! Okay, never mind. Stop. I thought she better she better heat up on him, but he he wasn't even faced. But, but I didn't want you to come here. I already asked you to leave and you didn't listen. I just wanted to help you. See, that's the thing though. You actually want to help me? Get the fuck out of here! Damn. I, I didn't... This is a side quest. How are we going to get Angel out of this shitty situation and contract that he is tied to? Sorry. Damn, and she's just so innocent. She just want to help, bro. But she doesn't really know the damage she's actually causing on the inside. Fiction. Now the song. Talk to me, Angel. Never mind, don't talk to me. I don't like that look. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. So it seems like he don't actually. It seems like it's an act. Maybe he's not as freaky as we think. It's just because he's kind of forced to do all this. Oh, well, obviously, but. Oh my gosh, the coke lines. Wow. It's like the lyrics are like, not necessarily like deep, but like, you know, it's actually saying something and it's like a vibe still at the same time. Yeah, so obviously Angel got himself into this situation somehow, some way. And like, he's just been doing this for a while now. And he's just kind of used to all this. So it's like, just become a part of him. But at the same time, he wants out. But doesn't know where the exit is. Hmm. Damn. That is actually depressing. Look how happy she got to see him, and then she realized, "Wow, oh, damn, he probably still don't mess with me now." You look like shit. <laughs> Not possible. Just a long shook. See how he's just like putting on this act? I mean, we saw when he was on his phone texting uh, Val in his bed. It's the back and forth and the best voice messages he was getting. 
If you've got a problem, you're not going to find the solution at the bottom of a bottle. I should know. I've been looking there a long time. No. <laughs> you're like, I know all about that. I bet I can make those wings fly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he got to chill. You can cut the actor in. It's never going to work on me. So all you're doing is making an ass out of yourself with this fake bullshit. Call me fake one more time, motherfucker. He don't like that word because it's true. It's fake. He's putting on an act. You know what? You would be fucking lucky to get a chance to fuck me. You know how much I'm worth? Damn. Like, that's just the shit that Val has instilled into his brain. Like, you're just some, like, object to just be fucked. So that's, like, where he, like, holds his value. Like, oh, yeah, you know, it'd be an honor to, you know, do such and such. So it's like... That's sad. Husk, what did you do? Made him a drink. Oh, no. Like I said earlier, that makes me think he was under this contract for, like, so long. Sounds like someone should go after him. Someone named Husk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kidding me. Why don't you go if you're so worried? Because I'm not the one who sent him storming out. You caused it. You drag him back. No. No. Don't force him back. Just... Yeah, that doesn't work. Save... I Keep a close eye on him. And... I only made things worse. Yeah, he's one of those people, you know, you got to just let, you know, let him handle his own thing. The black dot. Oh, he doing lines. I meant the whole Bro, these character designs are so unique and weird. Yeah, so I said, you couldn't afford me in a million afterlives. What is that? Here you go, darling. Just for you. What is that finna? Okay, thank you. I'm like, what is that finna do to him? <laughs> Dang, they stay ready. Let go of me. No, I'm taking you back to the hotel. Bro, you, she just Charlie just told you you can't do it forcefully. Your drink. You don't think I can tell if someone spikes my drink? I do this all the fucking time. You just let people drug you all the time? You think I? I mean, he's doing like six lines of coke, bro. It's shit. I didn't ask to be this way. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Go ahead, Vin. To save me. Let it all out. You to save me. I can handle myself. Really? Clearly I not. Saw someone self-destructing. You might need a bartender to talk to. Mmm. Come on. Now you're gonna act like you give a shit about me. Maybe I treat you better if you were real. Mmm. Bullshit version of yourself. Exactly. Boundaries. Let me tell you, nobody in that hotel cares who you are. How famous? How hot? So exactly. Just cut the act. It, it, I've been saying. It's who I need to be. Yeah, that's the tough part. This is my escape. Where I can forget about it all. I, how much I hate everything. If I can ruin myself enough in the process. Is he trying to... If I end up broken, I won't be his favorite toy anymore. Uh, Maybe he'll let me go. Damn. So that's his way of trying to, you know, get out of this contract. I was an overlord once, you know. That's tough. It was nice to have that power. But when you're dealing in souls, and losing a few hands can be more than a little dangerous. So when you're down on your luck, you turn to anything to keep you afloat. <laughs> Making deals yourself. Oh. So I know what it's like to regret the choices made. Reap what you sow. Okay, talk to me, Husk. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. Damn. Your life is wrecked. Well, let me just say you're correct. Yeah, you got to get it together, Angel. You're a loser. Reality check. <laughs> Reality check him. <laughs> fucked up, little whiny bitch. This is the only way to get to him, for real. None of that nice talk Charlie be talking about. I mean, obviously, that's just her character, but... Husk is the person for the job. Down, it can set you Bro, what is in that building? I sold my soul to a psychopathic freak. <laughs> and whose fault is that? that makes you Get out of here, man. <laughs> He's like, bro, that's most everybody down here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, flaunt it. Okay, but don't like... You know, degrade yourself now. <laughs> but I mean, hey, whatever works, you know. But isn't that like everybody down here? Now, I wonder how this is going to change Angel's perspective after this conversation with him. Just 
No, that would be funny. You come out like, they just broke out into song? Oh, damn. What did he throw in there? Some explosive dice? Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's your GTA down here every day, 24-7? God damn. What's Andrew going to do about Val? Is she going to confront him? Is she, well, I mean, she, she has a contract. She sold her soul. Sold his soul. Ain't the only thing I'm good at. Good. Now you wanna, now you wanna, you know, realize that. Good shit, husk. This is the guy you gotta take orders from. I know. What? Oh, they finna be chopping it up every time he get a drink. Oh, sorry, Angel. I promise <laughs> I won't ever, 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 ever. Charlie, ever. it's fine. I get it. <laughs> All right, I think not everybody in the, you know, the hotel right now is cool, except for the little girl. I don't know what her problem is, but now it's time, I think, to recruit some more people. He a little sketchy, you know, Serpentius. I don't know. He, you know, they were saying he was still kind of snooping around, watching them sleep. I don't know what he got planned. I don't know what he's trying to do, but he needs to, you know, he needs to lock in. He needs to lock in, man. Oh, Vaggy. Oh, they sleep together? Oh, yeah. They're a couple. An unofficial couple. Damn, what is she going? Damn, she hasn't slept. At all. Trying to figure out why the hotel isn't working. We've done press calls. We've tried sharing our feelings. Working in one way. You don't have any other people besides the people that are in this room. Damn. Maybe it's time. No. To ask. Don't say it. Your, Your dad. Mother. Okay. Yep. Why doesn't she wanna? To begin with. Oh, okay. And said, Go ahead and tell everyone. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I better say why did? <laughs> why didn't she wanna ask him? He could get me a meeting with heaven. Didn't he already? Okay, my fault. I'm gonna just let y'all talk. <laughs> Adam, he was an asshole. What's the hold up? You got daddy issues. No, we just have never been close. That's daddy issues. Split, he never really wanted to see me. Why not? Sometimes, but only if he's bored or, or like needs me to do something. Daddy issues. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's like, you know. What is he doing? Presenting the magic testicle. Is this the man himself? Back flipping rubber duck. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, I need that. I don't know what I would use it for, but I need it. I want it. Is he just collecting a bunch of stuff? Oh, is that pictures of his family? Oh, yes, bro. Go go call your kid. Oh, she's calling right now. That's our first time seeing him, right? Besides in the beginning, obviously. But it was just like a silhouette of him. This has to be perfect. Hey, bro, he's way too anxious. Like, you overthinking everything. Calm down. Where, where, where are you these days? You know where I am. You before you have all right get to the point you know <laughs> been really busy you know with um in... what does he do actually now that i think about it running a hotel to rehabilitate sinners maybe you saw our commercial oh sadly i missed it haven't been watching much tv lately scrambles the brain haven't been doing much of anything lately hotel fun well whoever's in charge up there above adam above anybody i need to go to the top oh no damn why not though? No, 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 Charlie, no, no, no. That's uh, no. Look, Dad, like, can you can you explain? I never have, but this, this. Look at Sir Pinches in the back. To me, it's the most important thing. <laughs> no, Charlie. Please, just. What is he so afraid of? Come to see what I'm trying to do. You'll see why it's a really good idea, and heaven is bound to. I mean, I'm sure if he just saw what his daughter was trying to build, he'd want to be a part of it or at least help. Inviting me over. Me. Take that depression. Oh, obviously, because uh, the death of his wife. Amazing impression. Vamanos. Sure, that's that's perfect. <laughs> okay, everyone, it's showtime. Damn, he got here fast. He said an hour. Y'all just got off the call. <laughs> it's uh, good to see you too, Dad. <sighs> this is interesting, though. Damn, he's short. <laughs> Why he looked tall when he, we, we saw him in his room? Away, whoa, key, key. I don't like that cat either, bro. Bro, I still want to know who that little girl is. <laughs> I, I mean, it's probably not important, but. What in the unholy hell is that? Just some unholy. Sure. Don't you think? Where he been? You are? Alistair, I am the host of the hotel. You might have heard of 
me from my radio broadcast. Nope. I guess that's why Charlie called it the Has Been Hotel. Ha ha ha. It was actually my idea. <laughs> well, it's not very clever. <laughs> <laughs> and share secrets and stories and intimate feelings. I wonder if he's going to decide to help her after seeing all this. We wouldn't have been able to pretty it up this much. Charlie. True. Alistair did help out a lot. Meek vision. I am happy to fulfill her bizarre... He's the reason, y'all. She was able to get their first commercial out. Quite an impressive young lady. We're all very proud of her. This is... How's she going to introduce Baggy? She's my girlfriend. Oh, okay. So, my tripping, have they always been a, been a thing? I thought it was like kind of like undercover. Discreet. But I kind of figured they were together. Dust, our guests. Your Majesty. Yes, sir. Hey, you sure can. Husk is our bartender, and Nifty is our housekeeper. Nifty. Nice. Housekeeper. Hello. I clean. <laughs> <laughs> I clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. What is he finna do? Okay. Damn, that was just so abrupt. What does this remind me of? It reminds me of something else. Like the tempo is the same as... Mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> Why'd he say so aggressively? Because I'm the ref! Hey. Her dad has something against Alistair. Is what it seems like. I feel like he's only trying to help because he's trying to one up hit Alistair, maybe. You could almost call me dad. Oh, dad beat dad. Ooh. <laughs> bro, play any violin, bro. I'm gonna go crazy, bro. Violence is so tough. They say when you're looking for assistance. Leadership, responsibility, stress. Least resistance. True, you haven't been there. He's basically saying you a dead beat dad. And you are. Hmm. Okay. Bro, that don't mean shit, bro. Where have you been? True. <laughs> Your song, I started this. <laughs> Who is this? Who are you? Bro, nobody knows you. Not a soul cares. Why she sound like the grandma from Trotter? Well, not that much, not no more. Mimsy. Okay. Is that Mim uh Alistair's girl? Ex-girl? FWB? I heard you were staying at this ritzy slob factory, and I figured I'd stop by. Oh, quite a talent, this gal. <laughs> you should have seen her in her heyday. I know she was a wild one. <gasps> Is that Lucifer? Move it! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, Sir Pinch should be catching strays, physically and verbally. I'm sure Charlie can handle showing me around. Oh, nonsense! We started the so they're just gonna be fighting over her this whole time. Together, right, Charlie? Oh. I mean, how how are you gonna get? How is her dad gonna get jealous? Like when you literally haven't been here to support her in anything. Hey, Nifty, what you been up to, girly? Fighting bugs and uh. Fighting bugs. For you. They're winning. <laughs> They're winning. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna lie. She's funny though. They're winning. Like how? What are these bugs capable of? Uh, I like what? Friends? Well, that's your word, not mine. Just didn't know he had any of those. He's been here a while and is still a big. Oh, true. Nobody really knows much about him. I mean, we don't even know much about him. We heard the stories. He about. Yeah. Just came back. Quicker than anyone had ever seen. That's why Vox was so mad. Wanted to dismiss him. But soon overlord started going missing. Mmm. We're talking heavy hitters. Broadcast started going out. Alistair. Here was Screams. Dang. Every time an overlord went missing, there'd be a new voice screaming. That's actually terrifying. So are like Alistair revealed himself. As the radio demon. So are more of them gonna start coming back like Alistair did, or is Alistair just special? But underneath it all, he's a total sweetie. Put on some jazz and pour <laughs> a couple fingers of rye, and he becomes a kitten. <laughs> I mean, I feel like everybody got that, you know, soft spot. Haven't done any of that in a while. That's Cap. Literally, like he was going crazy, toe to toe with Vox, when he was singing about the radio, and they was going back and forth about, you know, radio and TV. We know about Alistair. 
He's still the same, I promise you. What is it? You and I both Why'd he turn his head like that? that mm. and who knows what kind uh oh. Of she fucked with to come running to you this time. <laughs> who in their right mind would cross me? I mean... Hey, I would listen to him. Don't you worry your fuzzy head about me. <laughs> you may own my soul, but I... Damn. I forgot about that, yeah. But you are. That's why I'm like, you know, like, you sold your soul to him. You kind of owe Ooh. Oh, shit. Nothing. I, um... Bro, why would you be talking and you know you tied to him? Again, I will tear your soul apart and broadcast your screams. Wow. Is is that what he did to the other ones? That's why we they was hitting those screams. And we've almost been able to find all of Angel's drug sashes, almost. So once that's out of the way, it should be much smoother sailing. Well, that certainly is uh is is something. It's a good plan. Don't lie. What do you think? About what? The hotel. Oh yes. He finna piss me off, bro. Much better now, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, but I'm thinking this railing needs work. Bro, he's talking about the aesthetics, bro. Like, come on, bro. What do you think about the plan? All right. I mean, look. Why I wouldn't he want to, though? See the best in people, but these sinners, you know, they're just the worst. I well, what about the ones that you know aren't? Statistically, expect from them in heaven. <laughs> oh boy. I have to try. Maybe he doesn't care about you know people getting redemption because his wife didn't get a chance to, or something like that. I don't know. I feel like some ties down or ties back to his wife. I just don't want you to put yourself on the line for people like that. Jeez, what now? Well, like that. Fancy, we know you're in there, you lousy. <laughs> Bro, they got a whole ram trying to get in. What's going on? You Dr. Strange? I borrowed 50 grand from me. 50 grand is crazy. And I may have stolen a car. And crashed it. <laughs> Into the loan shark's girlfriend, but that bitch. <laughs> He generalizing though. This is just a few of the you know sinners. Just bring violence and chaos to your doorstep. I mean, because not everybody gonna get you know saved. Some of them are gonna get left behind for sure. I'll take care of this. Okay, Baggy. Leave it to me. Never mind. It's time I remind everyone why I am here. Hmm. Okay. Show me some, Alistair. Okay, Alistair, talk to me. Not to mess with the lady. Okay. Oh, damn. Bro, this man is terrifying. God damn. Dad, stop. He's defending this hotel. It may be a bit more sadistic than I hoped, but he's doing it for me. How come he can have faith in me when my own father can't? Damn. I feel like now he's going to do it for the wrong reasons, though. He's going to try to do it to one-up, you know, Alistair, and try to become a dad just because... Alistair's in that place and you know he's jealous of it but I feel like he's slowly gonna start to you know care actually care you deliberately brought danger to this place just to have me clean up your mess I can't have that here see that's why I fuck with Alistair right he take action get your ass up out of here if you actually want to give redemption a shot but I think we both know that's not really your style so hey. you need to he a good representative of Hasman Hotel I like him I mean I've always thought Al Alistair was cool see if I can Hey, we don't need you anyways. <laughs> I need some popcorn, bro. This is getting good. I can't. Why can't? And he's still not. You don't understand. Heaven never listens. They didn't listen to me. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean they won't listen to her. You don't know that. Can you at least try? You're the only thing worth fighting for. Now you're realizing that though. Like, what happened to all the the years you weren't there? Oh, oh, oh. oh, he's singing that though. Always felt so small. But I heard your stories and I wasn't thrown. I listened breathlessly. Imagining it could be me. Carry on your father's legacy. That show me dreams can be worth fighting. You instilled this into her. This is your fault. It's like nah, but. She just sees the vision. She's trying to, you know, carry it on. Yo, he's short. 
It's cool that they're starting to reconnect though. Thank you. Thank you. This is all what she wanted. All that she wanted. Yo, these songs, bro. Whoever sings these, whoever voices these characters are doing an amazing job. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Father, daughter, back at it. Just like how it used to be. I won't be able to go with you. Will you be okay? I'll be fine. I mean, she did it one time before. And got her dreams crushed immediately. <laughs> Good luck. Loki, he just like Adam. At least the way he wasn't paying attention and just uncaring. You ready? I'm ready. Because you'll be with me. In spirit, right? In heaven. Yay. <laughs> she didn't want to go. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Still nothing about the angel has come up, which most likely is probably a good thing for now. You know, because shit is already hot. The block is hot. I only see Lucifer down here with his daughter where he should be, should have been this whole time. Like, why would you just be apart that long? I don't know. But, you know, it's finally good that they're back together, reconnected. And, you know, he finally understands the goals that she has instilled in her from him. So finally supports her. And hopefully he'll stay here because like, I don't know what he was doing, where he was at. Like, I don't even know where he was at. He said only an hour and I'll be there. And he was there as soon as she, as soon as they hung up the call, <laughs> he was there in 0.25 seconds. But uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting to see if he stays here to see kind of, you know, how she builds up this hotel and, you know, adds, you know, more sinners to get redemption and uh, yeah, see how that plays out. But uh, man, hopefully Angel Dust can get, get, catch, catch a break, bro. Cause he can't catch a break for nothing. Like he's just tied to this contract. Same with a uh, Husk. And, uh, yeah, they, they both sold their souls. So I don't know, like, I'm assuming when you sell your soul, like, you just stuck forever, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know how you get out of it, but, hey, hopefully, you know, maybe this redemption arc of this hotel that, you know, Charlie's trying to build up, hopefully Angel Dust can somehow, you know, redeem himself and maybe, you know, get his soul back and, you know, not, you know, be tied to, to Val no more. Because that's crazy. You can tell that he I already knew before just the way he was acting especially I can't remember what episode it was but uh when he was sitting in his bed you know looking at the text and voice messages from Val and just how harshly he was talking to uh to him and just you know how bad he felt for you know what he's been doing and how he's being treated so yeah I, I could already tell from then and just this episode that he was already put on an act and he was just like faking his character and not really who he was you know portraying himself to be because you know, no, nobody would want to, you know, want to do that. Nobody would, would enjoy that, especially to the extent that Val has him doing these things. So it's like, nah, bro, nah, bro. <laughs> no matter how freaky he, he acts, bro, that's, you know, he don't want to do this. Maybe he, maybe he's still a little, you know, he a little freak still, but <laughs> like, it, it doesn't seem like he was going to be, you know, wanted to do this for the, for forever, obviously. So hopefully, you know, my guy Angel can catch a damn break, bro. I didn't realize, you know, Vagian... And Charlie were actually like a couple couple. I mean, I thought so, but they never actually like, you know, said it. So, you know, now we know because she introduced her as her girlfriend. So that's, you know, that's interesting. That's cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, this is a good episode. It's a good two episodes. Uh, I'm excited to see what happens next, man. I was hoping to get something about the angels, like I said, you know, the one that uh, Camilla killed. But, you know, maybe it's for the best. Keep that low key for now until, you know. But even then, it's like I was going to say until they might have to really retaliate back for what had happened but i'm curious to see what adam and them are going to do about it because they're the first ones that you know found out about the angel so that's gonna be interesting to see i don't know i don't know how he's gonna you know handle that situation what he's gonna do when he finds out who killed that angel that's gonna be tough man that's gonna be tough but i feel like something big's gonna happen this is episode four there's only four more episodes left or that was episode five there's only Three more episodes left. And then I got to watch the prologue. Because y'all was telling me that there's a prologue. So I'm going to watch that alongside episode 8. But uh, yeah, appreciate y'all for watching, man. Let me know anything that I may have missed in the comments. Appreciate y'all for watching once again. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace.